Hey everyone, Kobana Money 456 here recording another video. So yeah, today doing another news update. So yeah, it turns out as I said yesterday, I might not be doing an update today unless something came up uh, like Sonic Generations or Zelda and what do you know, something came up about Sonic Generations and it is about the 3DS version. So yeah, we have 13 new screenshots of the 3DS version of the special stage and I gotta say this looks really pretty for the 3DS. As you can tell, there are a few jaggy, like, lines on the, some of the backgrounds and stuff like that. But really, this game looks quite pretty, and it looks trippy as heck. I mean, it looks, like, just crazy, almost. And it's obvious that the special stage is kind of based off, um, Heroes, Sonic Heroes, and, um, with the boosts and all that stuff. And these are the only parts where, um, in Sonic Generations where Sonic is actually played 3D behind the back. So, it's gonna be pretty awesome, a little nice treat for um, people who like the DS, like, DS games, and they'll finally get to play Sonic and 3D on one of those games, but only for short spurts of time, so. And then, also, as you've probably heard before, um, the game's mostly going to be 2D to where Modern Sonic is still going to be 2D, where he goes from foreground to background, and, uh, also, there are going to be actually a few parts where it kind of does sweep um, behind his back into 3D for like a few seconds, kind of like to just make take advantage of the 3D effects. So that's really awesome. And uh, you know, it's kind of this game is looking a lot more polished, and these screens are a lot clearer now. I do have to say that I am kind of concerned with the game coming out in about four months and all. We haven't heard too much about other levels really, or seen any other pictures of the other levels. All we've seen is the special stage. Maybe Sega is just trying not to reveal too much about the. 3DS version, but they're trying to show the special part about, like, the special stages, which is something unique that the 360 and PS3 versions don't have, but since Sonic Generations 3DS has totally different stages besides Green Hill Zone, it's kind of a puzzling. It's kind of puzzling, so I don't know. But, uh, what was I going to say about it? Dems is currently working on the game, so I haven't heard too much about physics yet. I haven't really seen any problems besides, um, Classic Sonic's jumping floaty. And then also how uh, he kind of uncurls from hills and stuff like that, and that could that could that's very flawed. So not excited about that. And then Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, we have some more info on that, the 3DS version and the Wii version. So uh, Wii version will include canoeing, badminton, equestrian, um, which is where you're riding on the horse. And then dream events including discus and the long jump, which kind of looks like has some Yoshi Island look to it a bit. And then uh, also 3DS version will have canoeing and badminton, which we've probably already known about, and wrestling and the balance meme. So 3DS version is supposed to have 50 different mini games and coming out in 2012, while the Wii version is coming out in 2011 this year. And then also we have some info on the characters, so they're basically the same, but we have what types they are. So power type characters are Wario, Knuckles, Bowser, Vector, and Donkey Kong. All around type characters are Luigi, Amy, Mario, Blaze, and Bowser Jr. Speed type characters are Shadow, Daisy, Sonic, Yoshi, Metal Sonic. And skill type characters are Tails, Princess, Peach, Eggman, Waluigi, and Silver. And so far I've heard the Wii version is actually quite fun, like with the horse riding and all that stuff, but I don't know how long that could keep someone busy. But so far from what I've heard, it's supposed to be pretty fun, but, you know, it's not something that's really, really compelling if you want, like, something that'll last you a while or something like that, so. Also, uh, that's, oh, we have some news on, um, Sonic comic, um, we have new, f um, comic covers of 230, I believe. I gotta say, this is freaking awesome, because we see Sally alive! Hallelujah in the sanctuary! Woot woot, everyone! So, it turns out that it's all good in the hood, and nothing happens well we don't really know about Sally but it looks like Sally's still alive so it's all good and we also get to see Metal Sonic and then Mecha Sonic something like that I believe and then uh, Babylon Rogues are going to be in the next Sonic um, Universe arc um, they're returning also we have some new photos of uh, a new photo of the Knuckles of Echidna archives series which is going to be re-released I'm kind of excited about that because I've heard about that series and uh, there were only around 32 issues I believe and I've never gotten them and I've never read them so I don't know I might pick some up also just have a photo of Sonic Legacy right here so yeah that's basically it uh oh yeah and about Sonic Generations for the 3DS it looks like 
I don't know, with the special stage, it looks like it's giving a few hints of some of the stages. Like, is it just me, or does it look like Sonic's going through a pipe in like an aquarium kind of water level, if you see right here? You know, it kind of makes you wonder, are some stages, water stages, going to be in Sonic Generations? Like from Sonic Rush or the Sonic Advance series, or maybe even Sonic Colors, like Aquarium Park. I'm pretty sure they might pull something out of Sonic Colors DS, since that was a really well-rated game in the Sonic Rush series. So, I really can't wait to see what they have for the 3DS version. I plan to get both versions to play with, and I'm really excited about doing walkthroughs for them, and really pumped. I've got Sonic Fever and Zelda Fever this year. <laughs> yeah, screw Beaver Fever. Beaver Fever sucks, but Sonic and Zelda Fever rock. So anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye on my 456 signing out. Peace, everyone. Please remember, comment, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for more 3DS vids, walkthroughs, and updates. And yeah, uh, it turns out I'm about to buy a Wii, actually, so that I can have a Wii for Skyward Sword. And I know a lot of people have asked me to do a walkthrough of Twilight Princess, but seriously, I do not think that would be smart right now. I might do it when I have more subscribers and more views and all that stuff. But a Twilight Princess walkthrough, that's a really long game. I probably wouldn't even be done by the time uh, Skyward Sword comes out or Star Fox 64 3D comes out. And then another thing, that is one of the most overdone walkthroughs on, overdone game walkthroughs on YouTube. So because of that, people are going to see so many of these walkthroughs before mine, and I just won't get a lot of views on it. And it just doesn't seem smart to do it right now just yet. I might do it after Skyward Swords launch or something like that later um, in the year, but for now, not anytime soon really. But uh, I'm thinking about getting the Wii game to probably do a walkthrough on. I don't know, whatever you want me to do. Uh, give me your opinions or something like that. I don't know, I might try Epic Mickey. I heard that game kind of sucks. Because it's just way too glitchy and frame rate sucks. But, you know, it's always good to try something new, I guess you'd say. And just see for myself how much it sucks or how if it's good or not. But anyway, yeah, that's basically it. So also like my Facebook page, check out my new Super Mario Bros. DS walkthrough, and my Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D walkthrough. So yeah, see you. Have a good day.